for the video right for this video right here i will be on uh, racking to episode one ep season one episode four and this episode was named um a press engagement in case y'all don't know episode four season one of Power Rangers back in the 90s this is my fourth episode i will be doing um a big old review on and this episode start off with Jason just with Jason everybody just at the juice bar center if you look at the first part of the episode um they, and and this episode right here is Jason centric and and for, I will tell you throughout this review how how this episode of Jason centric and stuff like that in my opinion if you look at the second episode it was the first episode was about the whole team. The second episode was about Trin. The third episode been my teamwork. This fourth episode is about Jason. Where I feel like not about giving up and no and knowing when to give up and knowing when to fight. I think in my opinion. But in this episode it starts with Jason just trying to break the world breastbreaker record that was set by Bulk. By no other ones, I think. Both has set the record. I don't know how he did it, but he did it. In the first episode, Jason couldn't do it, and he just had quit. I don't think he quit. I I think Ernie just had lost count, and Jason couldn't do no more. And but but that was me. I was mad at Ernie doing that part of the episode. I, I was say, wait a minute, you not counting, and you expect me to break a record? I was mad. I was mad told something. I, I try to break a record and you can't count and you busy eating. I was mad in my opinion. But some people might not have been mad, but me, I was mad about it. And the first episode, Kimberly came over, just tried to encourage him. It didn't work. It kinda kinda of worked in a while, but after a while it didn't work because she, Ernie lost count and Jason couldn't do no more after that in the first episode and both both coming in just being up. And that was Rita. Both of them always doing something, bullying somebody. And Jason just had um, handled that. He handled that. He handled that good, I think, in my opinion. But um, but but um, that after Rita had saw Jason quit, just by no fault of his own, I, I think, in my opinion, Rita saw it. And that was Rita said, separate the Rangers for Jason. Just what Jason could be destroyed. I think, in my opinion, that that was her plan to separate the Rangers from Jason because Rita knew that Jason was the leader. He was the strongest. Doing the fourth episode, he, he was the best fighter. Besides Zach, I think, in my opinion, it was Zach and Jason. Those was Zach, Jason, and Trini. Those were the three best fighters, in my opinion, throughout the first four episodes. If y'all think somebody else was about the first four, tell me down below. But that's just me. That um, and that went, and that when um Rita just had just had um defied the plan. Jeff was fixed to make a monster that could separate the Rangers from Jason, and the monster that she chose was King Spanks. And King Spanks was a tough enemy, I think, in my opinion. One one of the toughest enemy were in the first four episodes, I think, in my opinion, besides the Godar. Because the Bone Collector, he wasn't a real tough enemy, I think, in my opinion. Once you figure out his weakness was the head. But this episode, King Spanks could have fight. He had skills and he had power. But but for me, that that's just my opinion. In the first episode, first second point episode, it was Jason. Everybody, Jason, Jason, Zach, and Kimberly was um, went through some type of theater, I think, something like that, and, and stopped fighting the, the putties and King Spanks. And that with King Spanks had separated Kimberly first, and that had sent her back to the Ernie Drew Center. And that was Zach. He turned around, he tried to figure out what happened to Kimberly during that time, and he stopped fighting. Bad boom just like tag him and that what Jason said. Um it was the Spanks that did it. 
and that was that had tried to fight the uh the Spanx. He fell and put a sent him back to the Jewel Center. And that and um and that was when um Zach Timberley had meet up with Eric. I think in my opinion now that's when it sent them back to the uh, garage center. Some kind of and to start fighting at some kind of center, I think that in my opinion. They start fighting. But the thing is, um, Zach didn't give up the and um it, it, it plus none of their back chain strengths. When he sent them back to the um the Aaron Jerbar Center, um Zach or Timberly couldn't have communicate with Jason because Rita just had made a plan just to block just block their signal power, I think in my opinion, just for going in and finding Zach. And that was Zoyon and that was that was my opinion. Well, I think with Chimley, Zach, nobody could have um, communicated with him. That would really have separated him into her own dimension. With King Spanx and Godard could fight Jason. Just by Jason by himself. But then if Jason just a hold his own, he was a good fighter already. And he is a good leader, I think, in my opinion, within the first four episodes. But it's just my opinion. But the thing is, if y'all got something different to say, just put it down below but me but me i think jason's a good leader he a good fighter and he would never give up doing the fight in my opinion he'll fight to the last breath but that's just me and my opinion about it though but i think um and this was jason and then was just jason was fighting godar and spanks at the same time but uh, doing that fight, that was Trini, Zach, Billy. I'm going to say Trini, Zach, Kimberly, and Billy went to the, um, they just had meet up just in the garage just trying to find Jason. And that was Kimberly had tell everybody else that Jason needed help. And that was all of them just had teleport to the uh, command center. And Zordon just had came up with a plan and said, um, send your crystals over to Jason when Jason could um, send y'all there and help him. And y'all can help him during the fight. But that's just my opinion. And um, th and that was Jason finally admit that um, during the fight, he needed help fighting Goldar and Spanx. But the thing is, uh, fighting one of them was a challenge. But the thing is, when you had to fight on uh, both of them, that's gonna be a problem. I can, in my opinion, though, my opinion would be a problem. But um, that with Jason, Jason had found the crystals. And he found them, thrown, and that with everybody else that came to help. And that when all of them had put out the Zords, the Zord fight in between Spanx, in, in between King Spanx and Goldar. That fight was a good fight, in my opinion. That that was one of the best Zord fights and. And the first four episodes that I done seen so far in the season, but I done looking at that's one of the best Zor fight because he fighting two people, and Zordon, no, not Zordon, but Goldar and King Sphinx is had give the Rangers the hardest fight I think in my opinion. With within the first four ep episodes, that was the hardest fight I seen. But then if 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 y'all disagree. Y'all can put it down below and plus YouTube. Um, they're doing this fight and they're doing this fight. The Megazord had beat both King Sphinx and Goldar at the same time because Zach, no, not Zach, but Jason and everybody had worked together in the Zords and Jason had lead them just to victory. He destroyed King Sphinx and Gordar ran away to some next time Rangers. That was the end of that fight. It was a long Zora fight, but it was good. But in my opinion, I like the fight. The 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 choreograph fight during during that Zora fight was one of the best Zora fights I've seen. It was good, entertaining. 
And plus, at the end, Jason had figured out just not to give up, keep on, keep on pressing and pressing. And he finally figured out just how to ask for help, teamwork, and just not to give up. And plus, the, the end of this episode, um, I give this episode a five-star episode. But you could have seen like Jason just had an arc. He figured out he needed a t teamwork. He needed teamwork. And he needed not to learn how not to give up. I think in my opinion. But some people might disagree. But um, y'all can put y'all can put y'all um this your opinion down below what you think this episode was about. But me, that was my opinion of the episode and and, and just my review of it. And you two, I'll see y'all I'll see y'all later. And see y'all next episode. Okay, I'll see y'all later. Be safe. Be safe and be cool.